Anyway, check out this absolute fire in this chunk of Labradorite. How does this happen? Let's talk about that. Labradorite gets its flashy play of color from microscopic gaps in its crystalline structure. These gaps, as light passes through, it basically splits the light and you get all these fancy, fancy colors. It affects how the light is diffused and absorbed. And it gives us something really wonderful to look at. These gaps form from a process called exsolution. Basically, intense heat and whatnot caused two different types of feldspar to separate from each other. The plagioclase used to have orthoclase feldspar mixed in with it, or at least that's the believed feldspar type. And how these formed, the conditions these formed in, caused the orthoclase to separate out from the plagioclase, and that left tiny little microscopic gaps. And that's why we have that play of color. Exolution is also a process that can happen uh, in meteorites. That's why sometimes you'll see octahedrite meteorites, the ones that have the nice little lattice patterns inside of them. That forms from a process called from a process of exolution as well, where you'll have a nickel iron meteorite, a homogeneous solution of it. It's all mixed together. And then the heat, you know, all the conditions that the meteorite was in caused that homogeneous solution to separate. And so you have distinct nickel and iron crystals within the meteorite. It's super fun, it's rather exciting, and I'm just rambling today because I wanted to make a video. Y'all have a good day.